y'all not coward. Y'all being real about what y'all doing. So. You already know, man. We back with that podcast, Medicine, man. Mm. I'm talking about audio dope, literally. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I go by Gas the Hater, man. I'm Mr. Mina the Instigator. Man, I'm talking about we got Spitter in the building, man. Right here. Currency <laughs> and Dreddy. I just, I just smoked them under the table. You know what I'm saying? Man? Nobody, nobody, <laughs> nobody within our viewing uh, radius would believe that, my brother. It don't oh, work like that. Real shit. Spitter, man, uh... Appreciate you, dog. Sincerely, man. Yeah, uh, Cause I'm a fan first for uh, letting you, uh, letting us pull up on you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really glad, appreciate man. Overdue, that. I was been supposed to do it, and today we were supposed to link up way earlier, but shit just kept jumping in front of me. I'm glad we was able to still make it happen. You know, carve out some time and get it done. Yeah, still make it happen. Yeah, yeah. it had to. It had to. And this is just part one. Right. This is just part one. So <laughs> yeah. Right. Hey, Spitter, just like like I'm bullshitting about uh, the piff and stuff, but how it came to be like when, no matter, just talking period in the game, in the hood, hip hop, when that piff come up, your name is in the conversation. How that, how that happen? Um, because I, I was very discerning with what I was smoking. I wasn't in a rush. To, to, to just be smoking. I didn't even I didn't even smoke when I was in high school and shit. By the time it came into my life, the quality of it was undeniable what I came across. So Man. I'm like, oh this not that shit. I've ribbed them niggas for smoking this and that. This is not that this is not that. This can't be that. So there's never so, no rigid. Yeah, so at that point I was like, well and and then what's crazy is when I spoke more about it with my music and was honest about it, um, things picked up. And then from that point on, I became ingrained in that whole industry. And I've been able to, like, uh, to pick up a cool amount of uh, residuals from that world. Right, you right, know what right. I'm saying? And not, not even from music. The music was the catalyst for it, but I could see... Where I could kind of kick my feet up and just be someone in that realm, really for the rest of my life. Facts, yeah. facts, 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 yeah, facts. It's, it's, it's a blessing. It's cool. It, <laughs> it's cool when, like, if Snoop come here, he'll be like, "Yo, nephew, like, put it together." I'm like, "Yeah, of course." You know, no sweat. You know what I'm saying? But I told everybody, I know all day today, I'm not gonna front on you. You know. What so I'm you saying? ain't never so been no person. Cool. Ain't never been no person. You gave something to them. Like, nah, they ain't this. They ain't never this. Never in better. my life. Never. That's never happened in my life ever. <laughs> Warren G came down here and had some shit that I wanted to take from him. So that that I was like, yo, let me just have the rest of this joint. You know, like I, I know I'm not gonna run into this one again. So that was cool, but. So 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 on that same level right there, it been a lot of people that been smoking. On your level uh, above, when you run into them, like, no, I need that. Or you people, always... Nah, I always got the one. <laughs> this nigga, yeah. If you're a rapper, we... Nah, I always... <laughs> I coined the French. Right, right. I coined, I'm, I've always had the one. And I think that same way I heard Buster Rhymes say that, that's what got him in a lot of runs when he was trying to get on. That's definitely what got me in a lot of runs. Like, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers, like, invite me to these... Crazy birthday parties and shit, like, because they know, like, well, bro probably gonna pull up with it. If we won't have to worry about finding Find that right. for this, you know what I'm saying? So that always be cool. And then I, I sponsor those events, like, through my brand, so that's always good for us and shit. So, so the Cannabis Cup? Yeah, it's always good. Yeah, I was, I judged Cannabis Cup in right. Amsterdam. Right. Yeah, so this shit, yeah. Ago, yeah. This shit became beneficial. That just, Cause Mina was running the F for, I was for somebody on the on the podcast, and it was like, man, that was back when Spitter ain't even smoked. Yeah, yeah I was the sober soldier. Yeah, I remember I like around, doing those stage every. I was around everything, but I didn't fuck with nothing. Right, <laughs> nothing. I didn't, man. It was all there, whatever I wanted. If I wanted to shoot guns, there was guns. If I felt like smoking weed, it was weed. If I wanted to drink fucking red dogs, it was red dogs around. But I never wanted to fuck with none of that shit. I really felt like. Like, Dare had brainwashed me, so I was like, 
I'm gonna throw away my chances. That nigga said he talking about the dare for school. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. I'm gonna ruin my chances at being anything if if I fucking do this because I wasn't tripping off like who thought I wasn't cool or nothing because I what I didn't do. Right. I never I never really cared about that shit. You know what That's I mean? crazy that you say that. I have a cause in high school. Right, my right. My mom just like, bro, please stop bringing. Fucking low rider miniature shit to school, like niggas is like concerned, like wondering if like you, you even yeah, cool or not. Right. <laughs> like, bro, I don't care. Like, I have all the Jordans. I don't fucking care. Everything that actually count, I have. Mm-hmm. But I just want to fucking build this. You know what I'm saying? So I right. didn't get you turn Wiz on to the G's. None huh? of that was no problem. I put him on the vapes and shit. Oh, all right. He all had right. some Jordans when I come around. Everybody, you know. You had a dollar over bus fare. You had your so they put you on the Chuck Taylors? Uh, 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 you was already on the Ooh. Chuck Taylors. Where is now? Oh. Nah. I had already was wearing them. You know, everybody <laughs> did. But Wieners. What, but what happened I, was, Wieners. what happened was, I I began to wear them to, to support his movement. Because I was like, damn, that's that's y'all thing. Like, Taylor, right, right. holy shit. Like, cool. You know what right. I'm saying? But all mine, if you look back, before it was like that, all my shit said Jet Life on it. I wrote on mine. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, so right. That was just the shoes I wore, same way I wear a pair of shell toes. But when when me and Bro linked up, I was like, damn, that's powerful that that is synonymous with what y'all doing. So that shit is tight. Like the fact that you thought that nigga gave, put me on Chuck's where right. I had him since the seventh grade. But fucking, they, they overpowered they brand, yeah, right, right, right. So Like, yeah, yeah when I brand. did wear well, for any point after that, I was wearing them in support of their movement for sure. But you put yeah. so so who put you on the babes? Me, <laughs> right? And they had the babes. Yeah, you, 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 me. You, 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 I mean, my TV. Work. You the first. You the my first. My TV worked. You know what I'm saying? I saw. Them, I saw. Dog. I saw Jay the Kids had them. Wasn't the clips like yeah, kind of like branding that at one time? Yeah, they, they, they yeah. Thing? But I saw Jay the Kids with them first. Right. Yeah, I always say it all the time. Like, cause I remember like. Pushing so, them was mad with Wayne for, for the babe shit. And I was like, nah. Yeah, like, yeah, right, Jada right. This was kind of where I got it from and then I put a dude on it. So if anybody was mad with us, it'd be Jada Kiss. Right. And Jada Kiss would never be right. mad with no, me. No, man. <laughs> he wouldn't be mad with me about a pair of shoes ever. <laughs> let's, let's, I, I, won't, I, won't, I know they got shit that people won't know, like, you know what I'm saying, from the beginning. Like, you know what I'm saying, before... You became spit, you know, like did. going into being spitter. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's easy to talk about with you too, because you yeah, know that. Yeah, I know, yeah, I know you from the beginning. Sure. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, just entering the game, like, you know what I'm saying? Because some people will wonder, like, you know, you wanted an artist that was like no limit, cash money, you know, or whatever yeah. on both sides. I played my part in both them situations to the point where it was just respect and it was like, damn, you know, dude, just solid. So it was never no thing like, oh man, this nigga did this and he like did you, that. Yeah. It wasn't no thing because in each and in, in when I was with when in either either of those factions saw me around people beforehand. They saw me around dope and around people that was legends that they respected on a whole nother street aspect. Yeah. So they knew I couldn't be in the car if I was a buster. Ever so Facts When it You know It just was one of them things right. You know Yeah right. Motherfuckers was like I see why they fuck with you So it just got like that You know what I'm saying So you and your relationship Became type from music Or just family Like type of uh, ties like- He had He had pit bulls I couldn't have no dogs At my mom's house I took care of all the pits At the studio Right. Then I started keeping dogs there. That's how me and C got really jammed too Right Yeah cause of how much I fucked with the dogs And all that Right yeah. And C bought you to the limit well, once he got in the jam, he called me and was like, I don't want you to keep chilling, like, waiting on me to figure this shit out. So, so you was originally going to be TRU yeah. more oh, right. than uh, yeah. No Limit, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just, that's, 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 that's who, who came, came to. to. That's who came and got me. Yeah, right. that's what I was doing. Right. If, if he wouldn't have uh, caught, got, got jammed up, it wouldn't have what you, what you think about C's situation, man, that he in the... Oh, bad like that. It's and unfortunate. I think it's unfair. I've seen other people... Uh, like be Walk. given a chance You know what I'm saying This one I feel like He was just railroaded From the beginning And then As times changed And people began to Open cases up And look at shit again I thought he was gonna Catch a break But It's like they made Their decision a long time ago And Even though Like The throne has changed Power positions have changed Those people still already Feel how they feel It's like grandfathered in That he's fucked You know What happened Smoke? White. The white and orange coat? What about it? 
the motor mount. Oh, the white, the low rider. Yeah, the miner. Yeah, it need the battery thing. Thank you, bro. Hey, just, just. We doing some, some car shit out there, you know. Y'all know. Y'all put my car. <laughs> hey, that, no, that's no. That's we got to get to happen. that. We got to get to that's that. That's what's going to happen. How many cars you got, bro? 41. Basically. So what you. Like, 41, and with one pending. We're waiting on the truck. Bro was supposed to be here Saturday of last week. It's a goal? I'm wondering, nah, it ain't no goal. I just whatever I like is whatever. You're collector though. Yeah. It it'll never stop. It can't stop. I know baby had fifty at his at his height <laughs> of talking about it. At his height of discussing it, he had fifty. I forgot to, to check with him at the M line ball and let him know my tally towards that. But that's not something I'm shooting for. I make a mistake, I step in shit, I surpass the fifty mark. I become the number one stunner. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> so what you on? Like projects? You like you speaking on um, cars? You got about fifty something projects out there. Music. Music. I've, I, I I've seen count. on hip hop. Hip hop by number said something else. They they said something crazy. I don't even know. I don't know. It was a hundred and something. Wow. I can't Cause, put Because I saw on Apple Music, it was like 48, 49. Yeah, well, that's the ones we ain't worrying about clearance on. <laughs> that's the ones we got cleared for. Right. Within the the world and YouTube, that piff and shit like that, where we wasn't trying, well, they not worrying about it, and we weren't worrying about clearance. Yeah, when y'all was doing the mixtape. You liable to hit me with Anita Baker on the hook and shit, so they counting all them projects too, you right. know? Right, yeah, right, right, right. That's a serious work ethic, bro. Hey, hey Spitter, like, from... That you said Fuck I fucked that car up Shit hey, You said that You was in school You wasn't running about Like what people Was thinking and shit And like That carried over To the music Like you came You came in the game Like I'm just I'm not gonna be on the drill Drill Shoot them up And yeah, I'm gonna just Specifically I mean, not I, do that Yeah well I had sat around it And it had Pretty much been mandated In music If you was from here You're gonna have to Figure out How to work Choppers into your rhymes and spinning the bin and this, this, that, and the third. Right. And I would say that shit, and then your friends die for real, you know. And then it's like, oh man, like why? I don't want to say that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I think about it a lot. Niggas' favorite line is like to refer to like having somebody mama crying. All right, think about it. You know what I'm saying? Like. When our partners get smashed and we go and we got to see shit like that, like, you know. But I remember when I was like, I couldn't wait to say shit like that because right. it evoked an emotion. You really speaking to, nigga, hear that? Like, it, you kind of talking from it, you know, and um, putting them in the, into it and it feel real. But, but that's because it feel real, as you get older, you realize, like, you kind of kind of got to get, like, not. Dude, not that shit ain't really what's up. How you found it? Not if it ain't if it's not what you doing. Now if I was if that's if I was fresh off bodies right, right now, right, right, right. you couldn't tell me not to talk how I want to right, talk. Right, because that's, that's the life you live. That's the life you I'm fucking rapping about the low riders. Right, you know authentic mean? shit, yeah. organic shit that nigga really going yeah. through. So how you found the lane for the music or the chose you like to know like man, this shit going up just like this. Oh, well, nah, I just, my homegirl would show me, because I didn't know what Google was. And she would just type my name in Google, but I look how many times your name pop up. It's this, 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 this website. That's how I found out about blogs and all that shit, because I was just putting the tapes up. I didn't know, you know, what, where they was going or none of that shit. I didn't know what the fuck was happening. Did, but she was showing me the shit, so that's did, how I realized it, it was a lane, you know? Did your work ethic change, like, once you, like, kind of went around Wayne? Because you, like, got crazy, crazy with just the whole P. process. Of it. P. Oh, P was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just seeing how he yeah, get down. Yeah, dude didn't do nothing else. Like, the, that was his job, so that's where he was at. And right. he wasn't even the most rapping-ass, rapping this rapper. But his work ethic was in the bitch, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Where, yeah. like, motherfuckers who were super talented come put their work down and dip, you know what I'm saying? But dude was in that bitch. So I'm like, damn, I can rap. So if I just live in this bitch too, then I can have, you know, right. a gang of this shit that's outside. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. 
You was originally offered to be in the squad in the beginning, mm -mm. Or, or never. Like mm -mm. When, when you came over, when you did the young nah, money. Had all, they had disbanded and did all they, they things and shit like that, and I didn't even bro had I didn't even know he was still trying to have a label. Right. When I seen him at the gas station, he was like, "Yo, just come to Miami, let's do some shit." So that's how y'all link. Like, like mm -hmm. you saw you saw him at the gas station. Yeah. yeah, yeah he yeah. knew who you was, knew what you was doing, yeah. and just said, "Come out." And just was like, "You not fucking with Run them no more." I'm like, "Nah, I'm just about to For start the For the first time. Huh? For the first time, what? that was the first time you met him at the gas station. Oh no, nah, I mean we was little together. So, yeah. I mean, All right. Out there, everybody so with Gucci's know each other at fucking thirteen. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Like so, we we knew we knew each other. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How you got on the type of time being from New Orleans and get on the type of time uh, being Big Crit, Elvis, right. all them things that normal people that, that we don't shit. really that's rock the shit with I, down That's here. what I was listening to. You know, I listened to everything the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was on them nigga shit. I was on UNLV shit. I was listening to fucking uh, The Far Side and... Um, hmm. Listening to The Doors at the same time, you know what I'm saying? The whole time, that's what I was doing. So when it came to where I was kind of in the driver's seat and picking beats and shit, I would let motherfuckers know what I listened to, you know what I'm saying? Like, this how, this what I, I want to rap over some shit that feel like that. Right. And, and just like I said, you had found that lane. Is that lane inside New Orleans also for the support of Yeah, Curtis? man. Um... What I have is, see, this is a tough town, and, and you <laughs> want it, you can't you can't gauge their reaction on how much the city fuck with you. You can't because you I sell that out one. every show I do here for motherfuckers to come there and do this. You can't go out there and be like throw your hands out. You not the shit you're gonna get away with in the next city. Right, <laughs> nothing's gonna happen. Not one jet, nothing. These niggas is like, and the whole but they place pack, but, is to but them, you like, shut it out. You know what I'm saying? But they came. Right. But they just like, nigga, I seen you at the red light. You know. Right. So I'm not about to go crazy because you stepped out. But we fuck with you. Here go yo. You can have your little funk at thirty dollars. I have a bunch of calls to come here. They gonna pay right. for to come. So here. that's worth something because I didn't so rent the, the jet shit. lounge a few that's times. That's the shit. And then like the fact I could do jet lounge, and then at that point, motherfuckers are coming tell me, man, we appreciate you, bro. Right. Like it'll be a motherfucker who I don't like. Damn, I don't know. Like hey, what who this nigga? Is? And then nigga come over that son. Look, look, come around. Every nigga that. Dumb niggas, the current right, niggas right, who right, don't right. know my name all the way and shit, but they got love for me. Right, right, right. Trying to look, man, nigga, fuck with you. Current. Know you got the gas, bitch. I know you got the gas. I know right. the bitch. Current got it. Well, current. It's like, look, I love you, my <laughs> nigga. It's good. So they just like, I like to do this shit, nigga. Come to Jet Line, you hear me? You good in here, you hear me? You straight. If nigga play, I'm like, nigga, not about to play. Yeah, right. It's all good. But I'm just like, you know, niggas ain't we in here. Like, all right, I love y'all niggas. It's good, you know. That's what I, I can't escape that part of the city, and that's just them showing me love. And that's cool. I appreciate it. And that's, but there's always a lane for motherfucker like, who walking in the same steps. That's not really, like, everybody got a gun here because everybody else got a gun. But it's some of us, like, niggas not clutching. See, I'm not one right, of these right, niggas. Right, right, you know right. what I'm saying? But there's room for the ones who know they got to have it out of necessity and bring it everywhere they go and just want to chill and not even let you know they have it. Facts. And them niggas want to listen to my shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah, the yeah. girls in the strip club, they going to dance to what they got to do, what they got to dance to, they get paid. But then when they go home and dump the garbage bag out and count, then that's my shit playing. Right. That's how I know I'm like, damn, I really ain't think. Because I'll go somewhere and there'll be somebody like a, a pile of them. I'm like, all right, you know, girl, you for sure you don't really know who I'm in. You, you know what I'm saying? But like, I get it. Once you get out the mix, what else you going to do? Like, I am a scented candle, sonically. <laughs> right. If you light a candle, this rap is what that smells You like. realize how big That's you that. is? No, and my manager have a big problem with that because I don't. I'm not. I'm not aware of wherever I guess I'm at in the game, so it, it allowed me to to keep myself at a level that's damn near dangerous because right. I'm right there with the motherfuckers who might not be so happy about your my success. success. Right. But right. I but I feel like 
if we all on the same level and you seeing like what I what I did, like that means just, just do it. Right. Like fuck, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like when, when, we when, absolutely the same. I'm just gonna get in the roles. When you so, when, when you left for uh, when you left for uh, uh, Young Money. You, you know, because you know, when you walked away, you walked away in the middle of yeah, where the cash at. Like, yeah. Nah, we about to go. Yeah. It was about to go. You remember we it had a conversation? They were setting it up. They couldn't yeah. believe me. Right. They couldn't believe it. Yeah, you just. Hats off to, to Wayne and Mac. Them niggas, my brothers for real. Because they right. were like, bro, you're ruining your life. You was right. about yeah. to go. buy a hell it's of about shit to for go. your mom. <laughs> you said you wanted to get shit for your mama, my nigga. You tripping. And yeah. I was like, nah, I'm not tripping. Like, I'm going to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Why? Like, don't worry about it. Huh? Why do? Like, Cause why? I wanted to do the shit the way I wanted to do it. This was before, dude. Like at this point when I came there, and I'm from a situation. I'm from tough guys, so right. the, I don't. You don't go against the move or just or dip. You scared? Get out the car. You in the car? You know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So once I get in the car with you, I'm not going against it. Now when I start feeling now, I'm fuck with it. Rather than stay in the car and not fuck with it all the way, and now I'm a liability to you. Right. Because if I'm feeling the way and you think that I'm going to jump out the car for every time, so it's right. like, look, man, I'm going to just, I'm going to go do this because I got a couple partners who can rap and shit too, and I know it's going to take years before I can even bring them niggas here, and I, and I got to do this now. So, fuck, I got to go. So, what, so, so. A- a- exiting everything, man, spit her on his own. I'm in the midst of figuring this shit out. What what happened for a nigga be like, yeah, I'm on now. I got it. I did it. What what happened? Like, I, I, I checked the bank account. I don't pay attention to the shit like that. Like I li- like I don't know what I wanted one day that I fucking sent more link to this shit. I'm like, look, I'm not even gonna look at my figures. I just wanna know if this is realistic. And nigga was like, bro, pull up and talk to me. Mm. And was like, you have your head in your books so much that you don't know what what's going value, on. Yeah, with the value. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was like, you could do this five times or you could do something for real. And then I like got the Ferrari and got a fucking bought a condo on Canal Street and shit. I was like, oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. I just, I'm just rapping. I'm not checking the scoreboard. I'm just playing ball. Like, I'm literally, I'm not looking up at that shit. I don't care how many times I fucking do shit. I'm not looking. Like, but it was it, it, it was that time. But nigga had to tell me. In my had hook. to tell me I could go and cash out on so, shit. Right. And I'm like, oh, all right. So so what it was a it was a mixtape every month for a year mm-hmm. that you did? Yeah. So now nah, I think I stopped at eight. Once the double XL months? cover came out, I was like, well, pfft. all that, right. That would cost that would cost like, it? from here. From here, now I got more ears and attention. Now I just turn this into something else. That's what stopped the run, the double XL uh, thing. So, so that would cause you to get the double XL attention. Them all them. I feel like yeah, that's what they cited for sure. They had already done little mediocre reviews on me. I didn't think they fucked with me because a couple of my tapes, like they reviewed and gave me largest. You know what I'm right. saying? I met the writers and was like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? But I met them after the fact. And they all was like, yeah, what the fuck? But it, look at you. Look where you went. Yeah, you, right. you wasn't fucking with the writer. So look what they did. I'm like, yeah, I right, bet. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, so, right. For sure. You was, uh, when you left, I know you was doing um, Fly Society. Rob Markham is my dog. That's who definitely was integral in getting me on that cover. He's one of the last remaining solid hip-hop journalists. Mm-hmm. And he's 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 not he's 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 young, you know what I'm saying. So like he's one who's still waving the banner for that, and I I hope that everything work out for brother. But I just wanted to make sure I said that because right. he definitely was part of like who got me in that in right. that mix. Yeah. So before, like I said, before Jet Life, you was it, it was the Fly Society thing, yeah. which was dope. Like yeah, I, I made the concept. that, it but I dope. did bad paper. I didn't do the real, business right. I don't look at I like I like Moose said. Like I'm just doing the art. And not on the business, and that's why I do it. Actually, a guy saying that me and bro lined up because fuck, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? What like, you what you slacking? But, he got yeah, but 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 with that situation, I just didn't do the paperwork. Right. I sit around, I can spew off ideas and shit all day. Man, in Hollywood, that's dangerous because they live off other people's ideas. So you right here just thinking you could just talk. It's good I'm around y'all. You know what I'm saying? But you get out there, motherfucker, walk out the room with what you said. 
and launch a TV series based on oh, that. Sure. <laughs> you can't do nothing about it. And that's basically what happened. And then I ended up on the outside of the paperwork, like, like, um, it's like, like you had nothing to do trying with it. To, <laughs> trying to rewrite it. And I was like, nah, I'm just cool on the whole thing. Like, rather than even fight for that. Like, that's. That's so crazy. I made that up like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I wasn't even smoking at that point. Like, the f- real fire. Now watch what I do. You know what I'm saying? Right. And went sat down and smoked. And they're like, all right, it's this now. Just. Like, within 17 hours of not doing the other shit. Right. So, it, so it Jet, life, so Jet life came straight off of, like, once, yeah. you, once you, like, I ain't yeah, fucking Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing that. Jet, Jet life. life. Right that day. Wow. For sure. So, oh, so, so you can you just like fly? So you just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just right. right. Like, I'm gonna just keep the same up. concept, yeah. but I'm going my own, yeah, I'm yeah, gonna go a whole other way with it, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. that's so, so, and then I still had the ambassador deal with them as the clothing line because that's what it, it had the, the clothing line, it had went more clothing than music. Was that skateboard? And that's what clothes? I was fucking with. The, was that yeah, skateboard? It, 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 it was. Cause we had a manufacturing deal through a, a skateboard brand. Uh, my partner, uh, the, the nigga TK, I was from, right. was heavy in that shit at the time. So it wasn't nothing for him to get us in these warehouses and get these lines. But he was more gung ho on the fashion thing, and it was going, it was going more clothing line than music. So right. I was like, look, just do it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Do it. I got to do something else though. You know, I, I have to go do this. So That's I let them happened. launch that as that. And they was trying to set up ambassador deals and all this shit. But I was like, yeah. Yeah, good. Don't worry about it. Because once I say this, that's probably going to And that just up. disappeared. Yeah, because like, I'm going to say this. And then I'm not saying that no more. Right. So, <laughs> <laughs> I, I like I like your mindset on it. Like you know what I'm saying, how you moved on yeah, a lot that of that shit. Ain't no issue. I ain't about to say shit I just ain't got to say nothing. I think the planes the planes came after that. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey man, <laughs> hey, definitely was probably inspired right, by the. Right. I, feel like supposed, I feel like I'm supposed to get complimentary boxes from that because if you go back, I didn't know you we felt were like saying that. Exactly that. Yeah, well, something when shit is Real when shit, shit is. I like keep it hundred when shit bigger, that light bigger than you you gonna sound like a fool. Yeah, saying, you, sound like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, so right. me, I would say, you know, like. I put it on an intern or something because interns and, and motherfuckers who just get a gig around you, they want to stay alive. So they'll steal an idea from somebody that the big dog might not know about. To make it right. clever. They're going to yeah, yeah. they deal with it however it hurt them <laughs> to know they've done some whole ass shit. But they can't not be in this loop that they didn't got in. Right. So they got to survive and they're going to throw you on the fire. So I just step back and I'm like, damn, you know, it's motherfuckers who very hip to what we doing. That's around us, so I'm like, that's who done that. But sure. it's good, you know. I just keep it moving. All my cars outside. Like, <laughs> it ain't fucked nothing up. This nigga really right. living. This nigga really living. This nigga living how you supposed to live for sure. Yeah. That's what's up. Uh, so so, just the shit that people be saying, no support in New Orleans, and then when you get big, you supposed to leave. And so you won't get killed. So, but yeah. you, you, the, you, the, you the biggest yeah, rapper out there. You, you, you can get killed going in it. You get killed plugging in the fucking air dryer. Right. You know, you don't know. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, the probability factor. If this was like the Nature Channel, I'm probably one of the animals that's de- like predetermined. Maybe he won't make it because he's in this environment. But if you watch the whole show, I've managed every time. Fucking lions chased the zebra. One got out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I always was able to slip it because, like, some of the lions would call me. We about to come through there and fuck up zebras, my nigga. And, like, you cool, bro. You ain't with that shit. Dip. Right. Here come the lions. I don't even know. I'm way over there now because nigga called me. I get, that from my, uh, I get that from a lot of people in the streets. Like, you know what I'm saying? They, like, currency are cool nigga. Yeah, nah, you know I'm saying? Like, like, it just ain't worth it. Right. It ain't even worth it. Like, <laughs> like for sure, you could do that shit. But... I don't care how like the realest out there ass nigga still having it his heart like you know right from wrong and it's like damn I did that that's whack even Starface went home and had to have a fucking mountain of coke to yeah, realize like did I fucking yeah. did the, the, that the you weed know? or whatever put you in a deeper thought thought mode like when, when, when in the process um, of writing raps or you I think it made no it made me appreciate what was going on 
And I had always thought I was trying to get somewhere. And I was like, damn, you, you're you there. Every time, you, every time I was high, I was like, fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, the situation I was in didn't feel like the situation. I would smoke a joint and watch fucking uh, King of New York. And I'm in the Waldorf. And my fucking 600 square foot... A point where, the, where shit is kind of fucked is not even like that no more because I'm fucking glad it don't matter. Don't matter. So right. if a nigga asks me, like, you want to go to such and such? Nah, that night probably going to cost two, three hundred dollars. I could just fucking, like, smoke 50 bucks and fucking feel like I did that. Like, right. I don't need to do that. Do that to even like, feel like when y'all right. leave from there, niggas going to try to come over here and smoke. So I'm not going I'm already I just kept the price I'm not yeah. going my nigga Cause you, what's out there Is not enough for you You still gonna have to do this I'm cool right. I'm about to smoke And whatever bro Didn't go We'll kick it Or if I'm still up And giving a the fuck They'll start calling me When they get out of there It's no right. problem It's all, fall, it's all gonna fall in my lap Yeah I'm not one of my <laughs> You right You, you, you right. right without the You pill? said in the rap One time I'm gonna be the one In the end to benefit off this me, I will be. I'll do whatever y'all gonna do. It's all good. You write what you write off the piff? Like yeah, I don't uh, do nothing. I'll, I'll, I'll not. You know what I'm saying? Like when you nothing, not smoking. Right, right, right. Since I started smoking, every breath I've taken has been <laughs> a weed breath. Real it's, talk. It's, it's. It's. I don't know. And I'm. I'm glad for it because when I was falling in love with weed, I also was not rich. So mm. there was times when I had to lift the sofa cushion and shit and put roaches together Big to make fit, another right. joint. Yeah, nigga and I that. was like, why is it like this? I wish I didn't even care about weed. It's fucked up. I'm already like this. Right. So <laughs> then once I start having I'm like, oh, I just got to smoke it because I have it. Who called you in like for a song or just a holler? And you was like, damn, man, nigga really fuck with me. Like uh, When Raekwon did his verse for Michael Knight remix, just because I felt like I wanted to make another one. And he was like, yeah, I want to get on it. And he did it and sent me a video of him doing the shit. And then he, like, changed shoes. Because he was like, nah, like, this nigga here, I got to put on some jobs to do this or something. So he put shoes on and, like, ran the version, sent me the video of him doing it, like, before iPhones and shit. Right, right. So it wasn't, like, that easy to do it. And I had, and I didn't have an iPhone or a BlackBerry either. That man, I don't know what I had. That Damn, day. that was that type of beginning. They had black bears, but I didn't have. Yeah, one. I'm just right. saying. But that was yeah. that was like a humble beginning yeah, for you because sent, yeah. he sent it to me. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, "Fucking Raekwon is yeah, this is fucking is being bothered. Like you give a fuck, right? Like, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Right. I didn't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? And from then on, it's always been shit like that. Like the, the Jay Z shit was cool. Like to go shoot the monogram ad and this fucking hype Williams. Out there, fucking uh, spit it. I need more energy. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I don't do energy. Really? Like, shit. You, you know who I who I'm down looking like. Hi, William. Sir, sorry. Right, my what bad. Type of, how how energetic should I be? You know right. what I'm saying? Like, what should I do? So I'm like, at, it's just like that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just like that. But Raekwon was the one, and, and Snoop. I, I was yeah. about to say, I know dog, Snoop. Dog taking me in the right. way, like like. Making me like the the homie like that, I'm like, damn, that's crazy. His, his, his kids kind of was waving the banner for me. Before really? they were, they, oh, so they was fans of you. Yeah, right, right, they right. Put, they, they put, they put Snoop on it, right? Yeah, they did that. That's dope. Yeah, it, it, he told it, it, me, he was like, them niggas don't even want to smoke blunts with me. They, they just smoke joints. Like, pull up, come to my house. Right, I'm right, like, right. Nigga, what? <laughs> is, is, is that yeah, question similar strange. to me asking, like, what would have been the greatest moment to spit us since he's been in this shit? Uh, Three wheel in that that green four, uh, crunch up. Twenty fourteen New Year's, uh, I went to Majestic's New Year's uh, picnic for, um, and that that's the biggest day in low riding in the world. Everybody come from all over the world go to that shit. They don't even bring cars. Like some people just travel. But I went and my car was there. And then when it was over, I didn't just do no car show shit. And put my shit on a trailer. I went with my partners who from it went on the street. Nigga, we was like, you know, like we was riding through yeah, the way. It was yeah. like, we can't get no gas right now. 
Cause you got that on Like we gotta go Further over this way I'm like wow. damn We in the middle of this shit Right But I'm fucking riding And hopping my shit Like three wheel I three wheel down Crenshaw And then I told my homie I was like Now we could put the bitch On a helicopter And send it home I don't need to do nothing else I, I did my shit <laughs> I don't give a fuck About nothing right. No more Like you know what I'm saying I'm good You had met yeah. You had met Nipsey Yeah what uh, that Dog we got records and shit we got records and shit, yep. He was uh, fucking with the low rider shit too? Nah, he ain't fucking with low riders. He used to have shit in his videos and shit. But he, ain't, <laughs> he, ain't, he ain't fuck with him like that. He had, he was, he was, he had right, big right. money, so it was Lamborghinis and shit. I guess if you grew up with that shit, you probably don't give a, it's either, either you fuck with it from a baby or you don't really care about it. So right. he ain't, he ain't trip off that shit. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. to jump from the, 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 the west to the east, you, you had locked in with Dan. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it was big talk. Everybody. Damn, you see? Damn, Damn, uh, Damn yeah, Dash. Yeah. And that was big, you know what I'm saying? And I was just like, I never understood how that came about, you know what I'm saying? But I know you will walk his away son. from something that you just don't fuck nah, with. his son. His son put it together. Okay. His, his Damn, son and his crazy. nephew was like, nah, this the nigga. Like, you need to call this nigga. Right. And some kind of way, they got my phone and, and called me. While I was in Atlanta shooting pool. Had nothing to do with art, nothing like he. Nah, I didn't know that. who the fly was even thinking was him. I hung up. I'm like, hey, what the fuck <laughs> I had a hundred dollars on the pool table, bro. Like, I don't have time with nigga telling me they damn dash. Right. I hung up and then his assistant called me back like, yeah, you just banged on Damon, but we still want you to come out to New York if you're willing to come. I boom boom, they set up a hotel and shit and I went out there. Right. And right. I did like an album that day. That day? Yeah, it was good. The energy feels good. Cool. Right. Yeah, I'm like, you know, dude, cool. The yeah. business went with well, the business went how it went. But that that's that's that. That's like that's ink and paper and shit like that. But if we talking about just if a nigga a person, cool, the person. nigga cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. I ain't got shit right. to say. I just want to drop with him today. Right. Yeah, I just you know, cause I know it, it came and went. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? And, because and it just was no hype yeah. on it, was no yeah, big yeah, talk yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, it was nah, just currency over here, not currency not over there. I mean, you know, I don't never have to say what what went on? Motherfucker right. know my character, you know, so I'm, I'm gonna do what I do. Yeah, that, yeah. that was cool. That was cool. That was cool. Hey, listen, uh, do do you be feeling the pressure of like younger uh, upcoming artists in the city who look up to you and they be like they got it in man? I heard people talk like they 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 look for currency to save them. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the upcoming artists in the city. Yeah, I don't I don't know because I don't know who saved me. So, like, the only thing I really could do is just be like, bro, like, the, the, I gave you the playbook. Like, if you fuck with me like that, you saw what I did, you know what I'm saying? Like, even even when niggas start, I was, quote, unquote, saved. I unsaved myself every time. It was like, <laughs> I, I, want, I, want to do, I want to just right. try my hand at the shit. So, right. if anything, do it yourself. Right, like, right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, 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 like when, when, you, when, when you come down to Jet Life and pick an artist, like, do you have a... Like it's a criteria that you Nah look. man You cool You cool man I don't That's how it was for me I was already a, Like I don't think C. Murder gave a fuck If I was tight I don't know if Marcelo Really cared They're like This nigga cool Fuck that shit And they just gave me time To get dope So if like. you cool Like T.Y. T.Y. couldn't really Rap that good I used to be like Fam Free You T-Y. 16 now yeah. Free T.Y. And I would play His damn like This nigga was 15, 14, sounding like this. Until you come to me with sentence structure like this, I can't fucking take it serious. Cause this, like, come on, bro. Right. And 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 but he was my home. But you like so yeah. through it, you're gonna get better and better and better until I got I can take my hand, I gotta get out your way. Like, fuck, go ahead, do what you gotta do. That's cool, bro. Yeah. 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 I thought, you know, they always had a quiet. Nah, I thought you nah, looked for nah. certain. Just I don't know, are you cool or are you a copycat? You copycat. They got other play. You know, you know where to go. They right. <laughs> gonna be watching. They better say, "Spit I'm cool." Do that. Just part one. <laughs> Just part one. Just part one. We gonna air this one, and then, and then, you know, through y'all, up, through y'all's up, response, middle. we'll know if we need to 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 let let part two go. Yeah. Right. Thanks. That's all right. Appreciate Love. you, brother. That's it. That's the shit. That's the shit. Come on, man. Hope y'all enjoyed that spit of podcast, man. We appreciate y'all rocking with us, man. You know what I'm saying. I uh, hope y'all fuck with it. We we been supposed to do it. It was overdue. All in know? time, bro. All in God's time, brother. Spirit came through. You know what I'm saying? If you watch the whole thing, if you got your whole full dose of this podcast medicine, you heard Spirit say that was part one. So yeah, man, part two. Uh, oh, it's gonna be even more later. We 
we're going to dig in on part two. You know what I'm saying? Facts. It's, it's a serious <laughs> question. You know what I'm saying? Like Facts. I told you what I said, but you know, we could have been there two hours. Like, you know what I'm saying? His, 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 his work, uh, you know, the, 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 the uh, compositions of what he's put out right now is so much stuff we could have digged in on all the, Different shit he didn't do, did, you know what I'm saying? All the different highlights he done had in his life, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to cover it all. So I know part two about to be even crazy. If y'all like the one burn, part two gonna be stupid. Stupid, stupid. Yeah, stupid, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. uh, but when that nigga said, um, I'm gonna be the number one stunner? Yeah. You so know. what? So what? If he get, if he get, if he get, if he surpass 50 calls? I mean, I just, he would be, you know what I'm saying, real talk. You the know new number one stunner? I mean, he probably would because, you know, that's what, only because, of, <laughs> listen, only because of what Birdman put out that he had 50 cars and that's what, you know, that's, you know, of course, just make me the number one stunner. I got 50 whips out there, you know, whatever. So if he surpassed that all for the, you know, the words of what he said, you know, it'll probably put him there. But I've seen... Uh, little Jay, you know, Jay Prince, man. I went to his compound, you know what I'm saying? That nigga had about 50, 60 calls at the, at the bottom of his compound. And that nice. Was, yeah, nice shit. Like Rolls Royce. I'm talking about a fleet of some, some shits. Like, you know what I'm saying? Then you got to look at a person like Mayweather that got probably like a fleet of all black and all white and right. all red. And, you know what I'm saying? So they got some ignorant, you know what I'm saying? Niggas who got. Some 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 luxury shit that's like you know to the next level. So, you know we, we, you know stun, you know he could take the stunner thing. You know according to what stunner said, he could use it off that because if he surpassed that, that's pretty much where where Birdman left it at fifty calls. So we get fifty two, fifty three calls. You know what I'm saying? You the one, bro. He the one. He the one. <laughs> <laughs> he said he forgot to tell stunner how close he was to that when I seen him. Right. He wanted to tell him. Yeah. But the most crucial shit when. That nigga said, I ran into Warren G. And that nigga had some gas to a uh, boy, I need this here. Man, I'm talking about Warren G was a nigga that a nigga came up off for real, for real. Regulators. Boy. I'm trying to see, though, bro, like. Regulators. How, how did we adopt the shit that was from elsewhere? Is, was that just early and that was the only thing planned or something? Because I'm trying to see how I even get on that shit. Well, we got on it because, uh, like I said, that music was. National music It was music that was You know Worldwide Like at the time So of course Like when he put it out there That's that's where we gravitated to Because that's where Hip hop lived at the time You know what I'm saying When it went from East coast to West coast And West coast was doing What they was doing Everybody was buying into it Because that's That's where That's where it was at You know what I'm saying So we had to hear What they was talking about Because They were setting up The presence for you know, what's going on, like, you know what I'm saying? It was buying into it, you know what I'm saying? That's how easy it was, you know what I'm saying? That was hip-hop, like, you know what I'm saying? So if it's out and it's got something banging and the radio playing it or anything like that or the box playing it or MTV raps or whatever playing it, we we buying it, you know what I'm saying? Next time we go, bro, I gotta, I I feel like I'm cheating the people, bro. We gotta give them that footage. We gotta give them that footage of the whole scenery, man. You ain't see them fucking old schools and the shit oh, that boy had shit. out there. I'm like, no, this, no, this nigga no, really no. loved that low no, ride. Tell him, shit. tell him how the night ended when it, when when we went out. Oh there. man, dog, listen, <laughs> man, dog. I'm like, I'm I'm staring at that bitch like, you're like, man, this motivation for real, yeah, for right, real, right? Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because we, you know, you can see that shit on TV and here and there. But when you actually see it in real life and then it's somebody that you actually know, you know what I'm saying, you know it's obtainable and that you can get it. And, you know, it, he'd be the living proof that... That was, that was a Rolls Royce truck? Yeah, that was a, a Phantom truck. Phantom truck? Mm-hmm. Damn, boy, yeah, that bitch you know, was pressure. Yeah, it was nice. Orange interior, you know, uh, it was beautiful, you know what I'm saying? Real, real, real nice vehicle, you know what I'm saying? And I'm proud of him, bro, because, like I say, the way he move and... That, you know, that would still be able to be in the city, like you know what I'm saying, and move around and have the things that he have. That's 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 big. You know what I'm saying? You know, we we covered that in the in the podcast as well as being like uh, all this of his stature and still in the city and moving around the way he moved around. You know what I'm saying? You know, so you know, and, and, salute and, him for that. And it was cool how he was like, if 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 you cool. And you give out that vibe and you do music, I'll fuck with you. But the really shit he did say also, though, like, man, you got to grind. In so many words, like, ain't nobody coming back to save you. 
Right. That's what I had. That's, that, that's what I went through too. Them same feelings, and I had to unsave myself every time. Right. Yeah. So I felt that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you living proof of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I did fuck with some labels, but those labels didn't like put me to where I'm really at. Like, you know what I'm saying? He left Cash Money in the mix of him having a song out at the top of his game right now. You know what I'm saying? I think it was number two or whatever like that on um, MTV. You know what I'm saying? On um, what what that show was that used to come on MTV. I wasn't with, with the free, cash said, huh? We're free, yeah, with cash. With, with, oh, 106 and Park. 106 and Park. He, he had, like, the number two video at the time, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about when he decided to come, you know, away from it, walk away from it. I was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? It's, bitch, you had to, shit about to go for you, you know what I'm saying? And to, to step away from that, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that that say a lot about a person and their vision and where they want to go at with something. Like, you know what I'm saying? No matter where I'm at right here, this ain't where, how I want to do it. So, you know, he took... Took 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 the matters in his own hand and did it the way he wanted to do it. So you gotta respect that, or salute that in anybody because that fact, ain't fact, easy fact. to do. You know fact, what I'm saying? Fact, ain't fact. too many niggas would have did that one. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know that that nigga was would have been true if C Murder wouldn't have went to jail. Yeah, he was locked in. Um, you know, like a lot of people was like no limit, but he was mainly like running through no limit through you know working with no limit or around no limit. Through, through uh, C Murder, like you know what I'm saying, and you know the, the relationship with C Murder, and them came from the Tough Guys situation, which had Marcelo and you know guys like that involved with it. So you know with him being in the wing of them, you know he was he was putting a mix with Master P the whole night. I was yeah. respected by niggas. I'm talking about on the other type time. So uh, you know if I'm rocking with them. Like, I ain't no bust ass niggas because right. these niggas just lost. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You know, uh, you know, like I said, I, I, I respect that he was just even also saying that he wasn't even that person. Like I wasn't trying to even be that person. You know, he came in on these guys respected him for you know being a spitter. Like you know what I'm saying. This nigga could rap. He young and like you know what I'm saying. Talking that shit. You know what I'm saying. And they fuck with him and they you know embraced him the whole nine. You know what I'm saying. But they was willing to you know like if, if anything came with. A nigga fucking with him, he had a bunch of hitters around him that would make sure <laughs> it's just over for you. Oh fuck with that! <laughs> yeah. It's over for you. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, you know, but you know, it, you know, they 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 loved him off of his talent level. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he 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 don't proclaim to be a stepper or a hitter. You know, you never hear currency like really running with like bitch. How yeah, we kid. talked about that. Yeah, they 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 they, they ain't his uh they ain't his mojo. You know what I'm saying? And I I I, I can respect that. You know, he spoke on it from that perspective of not trying to be like, they fuck with me because I was a hitter. Nah, they fuck with me because I was talented and, you know what I'm saying, and and, and they love what I do. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, what, because to be on Cash Money ain't no limit. You, you what, what, because that wasn't being done, like, nah. that, that was the whole thing, like. From from the public guy that cash money don't fuck with no limits. So for us to be on both labels, yeah, it was just like I said, it was just like his his demeanor of it. He 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 probably was one of the first to do it, but he wasn't the last. You know what I'm saying? Who else? Mystical, mystical did business with. Uh, oh, that's no after limit. he came home. Yeah, and then, then he did the shit with cash money. You know, when what he saying? came home. Yeah, you know, so they fuck with him as well. I'm just saying, like, it, but it but happened. that wasn't in the midst of. That was, that was way later, but it did, it did happen. Yeah, it, it, you know, I'm just saying, an artist that, that, that did work with both labels, like, as an artist for the label, him and Mystical did that, like, you know what I'm saying? But he was the first to, to really do that, like, you know, in a mix of the beef and the, and, the, and the controversy that was going on with them, he was one of the artists that was able to work with both of them, you know what I'm saying? And then later when Mystical came on, he wound up doing business with Cash Money as well, you know what I'm saying? And the whole thing about it, bro, like a nigga with a fan first, a currency, and you know how you say, man, you be meeting people from all the music and shit, and you got this certain little thing in your head or this certain image and personality that you then came, you created in your head of them just from the, 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 the music? Mm-hmm. And then when you meet them, like man, this nigga weird as a motherfucker. Right. That 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 wasn't what was that cool was. Cool you know what I'm saying? The same shit that I get off. You know, nigga smoking that pill, fucking with the low riders, all the shit in the video to be like, man, this this nigga just living, bro. I'm talking about living a nigga, living life with no worries. Right. Of like the nigga shit he was saying about, I'm going to school with this shit, nigga. I don't, I don't care if they. Think I'm cool or not, nigga? Right. I got all the J's. I got all the shit that the niggas want, but I fuck with this here. Right. You, you, yeah. you see what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, he was com- he comfortable in his skin, and um, 
I like that about them. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, when we pull up on them, you know what I'm saying? Nigga working on a right. old school out there, house to house, you know what I'm saying? Because he got his mom my house, you know what I'm saying? The whole nine. And, I, I, you know, that ain't nothing but motivation and respect. You know what I'm saying? Right. Mama live right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got me, I got my mama right here, <laughs> you know what shit. I'm saying? I got my cars all around this bitch, you know what I'm saying? It's my world, like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's, a, it's almost like we went to Currency Island. Right, yeah. You know, because the way this shit's set up, it's like, this all, you know, this this my corner right here, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, you right, know, right. I'm quite sure the neighbors be like, the rapper live right next door to me. <laughs> yeah, on a roundabout. <laughs> yeah, right, on a corner side. They got the whole roundabout with yeah. whips on that bitch. You know, so, you know, you, you know, for us to pull up and see it, him out there with his kid, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, just like natural, normal shit. Like, no, 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 no hyped up shit, no right. fake shit. You know, everything was real. Everything was organic. You know what I'm saying? Even when he had to leave to go to the game, you know what I'm saying? And the driver pull up in the in the in the in the, in the, yes in the, in the, in the ghost or whatever. <laughs> yeah. We was like, man, you know what I'm saying? It was just all real. So we got to witness that shit in real life and to see him in, in his real element, like it, the pure element of who he is. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Some people right. don't get to see that. They only get to see him on stage. You videos. know, videos when it's time to rap, interviews, things of that nature. But we got to see him like in his little raw, you know what I'm saying? You know, essence of who he really is. You know? Right, right. That's what I'm saying. So the, the same fucking living free type nigga that you see on all that shit, nigga, was exactly that. That's how he lived. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. He, you know, he ain't, he ain't a facade at what he give give off to the to the public. Like he really that dude, and that's probably why he can remain in the city. You know what I'm saying? And move around the way he move around because he ain't, he ain't trying to. Bring no home. All he do is bring motivation to niggas that that actually get to see him. Like you know what I'm saying, and, and, and you know dab him off, step up to him the whole nine. Like you know, if saying? anything, nigga wants some piff from you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Nigga try to do you that. Yeah, give me some smoke, pull, man. Nigga, see that ghost pull over, bitch. Next exit. You know what I'm saying? Right. What a piff at. Yeah, you know. That's about anything. So, you know, you're, you're kind of sore at what he do, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, he just found his own lane, bro. It's it's, it's totally amazing that. This brother didn't have to do what everybody else do in the game to That's be the really sufficient. Shit right there. Yeah, to be sufficient in the game, like he found his own lane and and, and just doing him. Like, and that's got to be a peace of mind by itself. That you know what I'm saying. You know, I'm that like, is in the lane of something that I love, love to, to do. do. Right. That's crucial. He's doing no. everything. Cruise like the calls. You know, like I I see what what I learned from him in the interview was that. I didn't know he was fucking with them cars, them toys, and all that kind of shit way in high school. Cause I, you know, when I, he went to Sarah to read. So when I go back around and visit, I didn't know that that was his world within his world. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? I just saw him as a little nigga, like you say, with the little J's, the whole nine. But I never saw him as being like a cruise. Like, that's why I thought that was new. I was like, how the fuck comes to get into these cars and this Cali like type swag shit, you know? And, you know, he was like, he, he stated to us that, man, this is what I've been doing. Like, you know, I was fucking with these toys and shit like that when niggas didn't even think that shit was cool. You know what I'm saying? So he brought the, he brought his element to the world of like, this is what I've been oh, doing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know you've been fucking with that shit because I talked to my, I talked to my partner now as I overlook and oversee everything. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, cause I, I didn't look at the sentimental value that, the cause was worth to my partner. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you, oh, oh the partner you were talking about. Yeah. About the cause, you know what I'm saying? That's my partner would be fucking with him. Yeah. Sophisticated ass nigga. That, that's my partner with the cause. That's oh, I, nigga. oh, I didn't know that. I didn't yeah, know that yeah. was him. I didn't yeah. know that was him. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that was him. Yeah, so I looked at it, but I'm just trying to say that to say that's how much of a fan I was of the nigga currency. I know he fucked with the cause, and I'm like, man, when I first started podcasting, I wanted to be on my podcast, but I was like, I didn't know how to get the nigga on my podcast. Nigga, money ain't together. You don't know, to be paying no nigga for no podcast. I'm thinking five, ten thousand dollars type of shit. Yeah, right. I'm like that nigga. Ain't. So I thought about it. I'm like, damn, my partner got them. My partner got some cars that he like. So I'm like, man, if I could get my partner out the cars, I could get the interview. You know? Yeah, you, yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I took a picture of the cars. It was, it was like 96, all 96 models, you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. the, the fly shit, pallets, yeah. all 96 models. They had like 100 cars in that bitch. So I sent the picture and I DM'd it the currency. Mm-hmm. And nigga coming back ASAP, like they ain't coming back. Oh, yeah, man. Ooh, ooh, see, I forgot to break all that up because of the time and oh, shit. Oh, part two, you know we're going to kill it. We're going to kill it. We're going to kill it. And uh, 
that's the last time that I'm like, I couldn't get the pod- I couldn't get the calls from my partner. To even <coughs> set it up to do the business to even get a podcast out of them, right? So I was in my feelings and my partner didn't want to give me the calls, but it meant the calls meant something to him, you know. Like, what yeah, I'm saying? and you can see that like in in high currency rule, like that shit mean a lot, like you know. What yeah, saying? and it, yeah, 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 it meant something. to My partner, you dig the same way he yeah, probably would have meant something. Too. Yeah, it's a currency. Dig, right. it, well, he only he ain't even no collect on that type of time, but it, it, how he got him, you know what I'm saying? That that was you know the way that. The calls, remember, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it meant something to him too. So, I guess the same way currency would have received them, that's the same way he felt about. I can't yeah, let these can't bitches go. go. Wait, real talk. Wait. I was like, man, fuck, dog. You know how I feel about this podcast, bro. And they say, but you know how I feel about these calls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. 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 right, the same way you feel about that podcast, bitch. I feel about these calls. I can't just let them go like that. I was just seeing that. Man, I got a head of calls. You my partner. I'm saying my I'm saying it just calls, bro. Just play calls, my nigga. Yeah. But but you, but you can see that that that, that, that go to show you that it's more than one way to skin a cat. My partner say a million dollars he can't get him. Shit. <laughs> yeah, you calls be gone. <laughs> Nothing but toys to me, brother. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like I said, it don't hold no sentimental value to me like that. So yeah, a million dollars mean more to me than, than those calls, but I get you know to a person that's nigga. Mama give him, mama give him to him and passed away. A million dollars can't get him. Um, nigga be on some shit. Man, my mama want me to do it. I mean, if <laughs> if I if, if I value the, the cause, if I value the money more than the sentimental value, it, I mean, if I value the money more than the sentimental value, I would it'd be the money still. No matter what, but if I value the sentimental value more than anything with money, ain't no dollar amount. Well, you know, that's what I'm saying. But ain't, like <laughs> in my mind at the moment, ain't no dollar amount you could give me that, uh, you know, because this means more to me than money. You know what I'm saying? You know, as people say that, but I, I think everything got is, you know, some type of price on it. Million dollars, million. I ain't gonna say everything. So million dollars, so man, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, because you're saying that from a perspective of not valuing it like that. You if know I value it like that. If you value your manhood, but a million dollars ain't going to give you your manhood up. That's a little different. No, it's something you value. You know, you put value on your manhood at what you're saying, so there ain't no dollar amount that could take you out your manhood. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I can't put no dollar amount on it. Right, so I'm just trying to be like, some people hold sentimental value the Like that. <laughs> oh, manhood. Like, it, 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 it ain't no dollar amount, you know what I'm saying, could take this from me because that's how much I love and respect this, that ain't no money that, that can, you know, really take it away from me, like, because that's how much I value. I don't think that's a good comparison, though. Yeah, like I'm just, I just say manhood because you value that, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if we're going to put a dollar I don't out, think a nigga value nothing in this world more than the ass, bro. Like, I, I don't think that's a good comparison. But they got a lot of niggas that don't that's value. That's a hell of a shit. They got some niggas that don't value their ass like that because evidently they <laughs> gave their ass up for an opportunity to do some things that for change their life. For a dollar amount? For a dollar amount because it changed their life. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas like, man, like, bitch, that's why I'm up here. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm where I'm at right now because I did some shit unmorally. You know what I'm saying? I had to and, get with an old creep. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, 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 you know, niggas doing all kind of shit for, for, for money. You know what I'm saying? It's got some things like, you know, with my kids, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't, you know, lose them for no dollar amount. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, I, you know, you couldn't tell me to swap them out for uh, no amount of money. Like, you know, if we give you all this money if you let us. That's why they call it a sacrifice. You sacrifice your kids to have this. And you can't judge what's sentimental to a nigga. Nah, it'd be the smallest things. It'd be like, man, this shit mean more than you know the world to me like right now. You know what I'm saying? So, you My know. mom used to hold this crystal all the time. Man, I can't. It's like you gave your mama with. Crystal. You know, <laughs> yeah, the crystal because the, your mama valued the crystal so much, passed it on to you, and now you feeling like, man, I just can't, I can't do. Man, that. I'm hurt, man. My mama, my mama, my mama goes pawning this bitch too, and she was hurt. <laughs> <laughs> that would have, that would have go trick yourself in the sand. I mean, if that's where they mind go, my then. mama would have threw this bitch at that porch. I was so fucking fast, boy. I'm hurting out here, nigga. I tried, ma. <laughs> my intentions was good. <laughs> what you say about the intentions? If don't put you on the right side of the street, then you know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. It can still go wrong. Attention was good. Nigga, nigga, nigga don't give a fuck sometimes if he even go wrong. Nigga just standing on that. I know it's going wrong, but my attention's good. And that that make a nigga better cope with like the so, decisions so, that they made. So when I was telling you that a couple of podcasts ago, you No, I'm like, still saying that, that that is wrong. It's wrong, bro. But yeah, it's wrong. 
But that's how a nigga fool himself to try to cope with it. You know so, what I'm so saying? So I guess I be, I've been fooling myself. Yeah, you been fooling myself with it being reality. <laughs> It's just it's been reality. Hey, but what have been reality, and this is the most craziest thing, bro. And since we talking about that type of shit, uh, T Money is an artist from Baton Rouge who got killed. And that's Fredo Bain, like partner, partner. It's like you wouldn't even heard of Fredo Bain and T Money when they got killed, right. or not to this degree, anyway. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's like you know, sometimes you niggas been not. Not purposely, but sometimes you might benefit or uh, put yourself in a, you know, a more brighter light just because of the, the uh, occasion and yeah, situations happened, that have happened. happened. Not that, like, I want my partner to get killed. No, but, so, but, but off of that happening, yeah. it, it turns you up a certain kind of way. And that's a fact. So, nigga, nigga, nigga destroyed his little... You know, uh, it's a, brave it's grave or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So that it's where the sledgehammer came. Man, that's the got to be the that's worst wrong, disrespect bro. ever because, you know, the man gone, bro. He dead, you know what I'm saying? And these, the the the, 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 the grave site and all that, that, that got a lot to do with the family. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, these people did you nothing. They, they didn't hurt you on no form of fashion. The dude gone, you know what I'm saying? You know, rest in peace. Uh, they couldn't even let the man rest in peace, bro. You know what I'm saying? They had to go there and destroy his grave site like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just a total disrespect. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think the day and time we're in right now is like people live up to like, what's the worst I can do? What's the worst I could do to to, to, to to put it out there? Nobody got nothing off it. If it went viral, it went viral on the name of G-Money. You right. didn't stay there and, and, and make a post that That's you did. That's demon time, literally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the worst, bro. You know what I'm saying? That was so, demon time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because you just trying to like display I hate I hate a person so much that I go to this extent to, you know, disrespect him and his family like that. You know what I'm saying? Like I hate him that much, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that I go to his grave site. Like how that thought pop in your head, huh? Like, oh, today we're gonna do this. I mean it's just Niggas got a lot of time. They say uh, idle mind is the devil's playground. You know what I'm saying? So when they just got time on their hands, they be like, bitch, you want to go? You know what I'm saying? And just go pull off an act. It's, first of all, it's an immature act. You know what I'm saying? Because, you, you know, it's got to be young boys that's doing it that ain't really got too much of, you know, morally things going on with them. Like, you know what I'm saying? That they even got time to go do that. You know what I'm saying? Because that take time. Get the slash on my bitch. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Just doing all kind of, you know, you know, and it just... It's just blatant disrespect, not only to the person who died, but 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 to the family members that who got to come, you know what I'm saying, and witness it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, who will come do this? Like, you know what I'm saying? We know it's the enemies of. I was wondering if with that type of disrespect going on, would that spark up, the you know, a, a beef again with, with NBA Youngboy and um, what his name is, uh, his partner? Oh, uh, Fredo. Fredo. You know what I'm saying? Just because we know it was like whoever – you know, did what they did to him, like the you know to uh, for him to lose his life. You know, it had to be some of y'all same type people that's. But doing sometimes, it. dog, when niggas be just out their mind, bro, on all them drugs and shit, that could be some fan shit. You know what I'm saying? Fan could have did that. A fan yeah. of. Maybe a young boy or whatever may be the case. Yeah, yeah it so could be. I'm, I'm right. just giving I ain't a nigga at it different. To that level. Yeah, you know, to where a nigga like, man, just don't put the tag on. I, I, yeah, know. and I'm not trying to put the tag on him. I'm just trying to be like, you know, knowing that we had this. No, type I know of what you problem. have with it. Yeah. Like, nigga, yeah, definitely. I'll yeah, see and it I'm that, glad that you way. spoke on it from that perspective because I'm not trying to directly put the tag because I I didn't look at it from that perspective that it could just be fans because fans do some wild shit too because uh, they rock with this person so much that they'll go to that limit. You know, knowing that. Ain't no way you can catch it that it was me. You know right. what I'm saying? Only if I tell somebody and they tell somebody, you know what I'm saying, to get out there. But if I we go and do it up amongst ourselves, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just to pay homage to the person that we respect more. You know what I'm saying? But I don't really see no benefits out of doing it. You know what I'm saying? To, to know to take a video. Because I be thinking when people do shit like that, what you got a source to what, uh, to what, uh, I'm doing this and I'm going to make some money off because I'm going to send it to them or something because when a nigga do something, like, how do it get presented to the world without being from you? So w- w- you got to do something with it because if it get presented from you, then I would know who done it. Do you understand what, yeah, you understand what I'm but, saying? But I think the reward would be more like, I know I did it. No, I'm, I'm asking you, how do a nigga get, the vo- get that moment out if it don't come from your phone? 
Right. I'm like I said, it didn't go viral to the level where he got noticed for it. Whoever did it got noticed for it. No, I'm saying when it come out, how you stop from letting the person know that I put it out? Like if you put it out, if you don't want with it. So we got to go to somebody else's phone. You got to send it to somebody so a nigga won't know that I'm the one did it. You, you understand what I'm saying? Mm. So I'm not understanding how, why you would do it when you got to get a footage to somebody else for it to even come out. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I just think the reward in that person is just knowing that I did that. Like, 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 like that's, that's if I get the recognition from it or not. I don't need the recognition. The glorification was is within me. The shit that's going viral is me, and then they still can still feel good that that's. It's, it's almost like a dude that kill a dude, and they hit the news. You know, like I, I, I think I told you this before. Where they had some two young that's brothers me. in the studio, and they were like, "That's my work." Like you know, like they they speaking on it, and then he telling another young brother that, "Man, ain't nothing you did hit the news. My shit be in the news. I, I make it messy for a nigga. You know what I'm saying? It gotta hit the news. That's how. That's you know. And I, you know, and they was bragging on that, and I'm like, I ah, shit ain't even nothing to glorify like that. But you know, in their young minds, like that was that was that was everything. Like you know what I'm saying? And it was like your shit don't make the news. My shit do. So with this shit going viral to the person that did it. Looking like that. you know, and he got a few people that he told that he feel like on his right, side, right, 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 right. That he's getting. Well, you did that, fucking right. Boy, I went. I did this. I, you know, he telling me the whole play by play. Got the sledgehammer from by my grandma. You know, my you know my yeah. my grandfather. You know, he fuck with all that. That, that, that the other nigga telling gonna get you killed. Claim that shit, nigga. Yeah, you know, but, that. But, but 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 that's where you are getting it from. Like it don't care if the world know. Like just that it's going viral and that you did it. That's good enough for you within yourself to be like, boy, my work went. My work went viral. My work. Right. The shit I did went viral. I ain't right? killed nobody. Fuck some bricks up. My e work. That's my work. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Let's and, get that in the air. And because it's so disrespectful <laughs> and because it's a big talk about, you know what I'm saying? You you know, it, it's glorifying to you to know that I'm the one that made that shit happen the way it happened. You know what I'm saying? Niggas live off shit like Come that. On, man, That's a viral dude. moment for a nigga within itself just to see his work. Go 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 crazy! And at you know? the same time, bro, that's like on some real nigga shit. Like that, that's the number one violation, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man, nigga, dead and gone, bro. And on the real side of things, man, nigga, sisters, brothers, aunties, uncles, and shit that that missed that person and st- probably still been grieving from time to time and to reopen that. Like, there ain't, ain't no G shit, bro. Yeah, it ain't. It ain't. You know what I'm saying? But to the person that did it, like, you know what I'm saying? It's uh. You're really a clown, clown. They feel like you know what I'm saying. Shit, you know what I'm saying. I, I hate this person. So you know what I'm saying. I won't. I want to cause. You know, I want to kill him again. Like you know what I'm saying. Damn near like that's the spirit of that. Like right. you know, if I could dig you up and kill you again, nigga, that's how much I want to like you know make it known. How I feel, you know what I'm saying, about this whole situation. I even hate you when you're dead. Yeah, you know, that's, 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 that's demon that's time wrong. shit, like you say, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, for to do some of the shit that a nigga doing, you know, is, 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 is the worst of the worst, you know what I'm saying? But some people live by that, bro. Hey, let me tell you this, I can't forget to tell you this. It been like this, but not to the point to where niggas don't even want me to leave. They want me to stay there to hear their side about, BG and God. So, you know, it normally, even when we together, it normally be like, I fuck with y'all niggas. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know what I'm saying? It normally go like that. Appreciate you. That's what's up. But this shit right here, nigga want to see me at the gas station. Hold you up. And just, man, you ever thought about this? I'm like, man, I got to go, dog. And that happened multiple times. This shit getting... This shit touching nigga's soul, man. Yeah, because uh, people, you know, look at, you know, the podcast that we put out with golf, you know, and, and then they got their own little, little feelings, you know, a lot their of people. Their own take, huh? Yeah, a lot of people, like, I saw the podcast, you know, this, this is some of the shit I'm getting from people on the streets. You know, I saw the podcast, I like that bitch, you know, go seemed to be heartfelt, you know what I'm saying, gave his shit, but, you know, the, the ultimate question is, did you jost the man? You know, did you did you kick in with the money? So I mean, I'm explaining to niggas. I'm like, that dude kind of explained all that. Like he told you, you were fucked up for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Then when he got right, he 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 gave the nigga a nine page letter. You know what I'm saying? To kind of like, you know, tell him where he was at with it. Dude would never respond. What you want him to do? Start spending money like right? Cause niggas saying, damn man, you ain't doing this nigga. But you talking about I got Benzes, I got a couple of them bitches. Nah, nigga was saying I got that. 
But at the time that I did get that, I was reaching out. Yeah, and dude wasn't responding back. So that's 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 my 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 question to people. You know, my question to people is what he's what he's supposed to just start sending money just because. You know, whatever. Like you ain't fucking with me, but I'm, I'm like, you know. So what, that's almost like I'm kissing your ass now to stay cool with you on the level of I like, gave you my heartfelt or what it was. Like this is where I was at. This was what I was going through. It's almost like I don't really want to hear that. Like you know what I'm saying? And on the real side, bro. On the opposite side, uh, no, no nigga, bro. No matter what they did or didn't do for anybody, no person is not obligated to fuck with no nigga. If you judge me, uh, you didn't judge me. I'm speaking and saying like BG, nigga, not obligated to rock with nobody. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so BG can hold that same obligation to like the same way you, you know, you you have the right to not be obligated to judge me. No, that's a I fact. I got an obligation not to fuck with you when nah, I come home. Nah, real shit. So that's so, the real shit. Yeah, you know, at the end of the day, like whatever your excuse is, it don't it don't line up for me. But but I ain't even I ain't even take it as a nigga. With, 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 I ain't even taking that as go with saying this in the response in in, in in a form of I'm saying this so you can know so you can fuck with me. You, you see what I'm saying? I just thinking a nigga was like, "This what it was." If this, if you don't know what it was, let me lace you up. Yeah, let me tell you what what I was going through. I don't give a fuck what come from it. If the response of you fucking with me or not, you just need to know this. You understand right. to get it out of my system to know this what it was. Right. I think I, that's I what it, more I, like you know, what it was. I, I think that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Overall, you know what I'm saying. But I still know that you know niggas still feel hurt about it. I, I saw the hurt and do you know commentary about the whole situation. He seemed like nigga man, him, I fucked up shit. about that. I, that's my brother. Like I really fuck with dude. Like you know what I'm saying. And I I wasn't in position to do what he wanted me to do. Wholeheartedly, but that don't take no love away from how I really feel about dude, and I think that's ultimately what God was trying to get across. Like, nah, I didn't probably do everything that you wanted me to do, but overall, man, I still got love for you, bro. I'm still that nigga. I'm still ride for you. I still kept your name alive out here in the streets. You know what I'm saying? The whole nine. Like, and man. sometimes uh, me and the brother, sometimes when you be in jail and you be Joseph, some people don't have to do you anything, right? Right. Don't have to judge you. Don't have to not judge you. Don't don't just have to do anything. And when you sitting back there in the bunks, bro, and you getting you 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 getting prepped and you getting you getting ready for uh the free world. You dig for as maturing and getting your mind together. You 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 putting the motherfucking diagrams and you shit on the paper. And some niggas going in this category and some niggas going in that category. Niggas that I dealt with on an everyday basis without doing me anything, but it's just something, certain things about you or what you're doing or your life or any way that I feel that put you in that box over here, then that's just what it is, brother, because I'm trying to move my life in a different direction, and the people in this box over here might stop start my growth it, it might hinder it, it, that. Uh, uh, under whatever circumstances that's in my head. Can't, right. It might not even be logic to you, but to keep me on the right path, I mean, you in this box over here, brother. You know so the ones I'm not, you know right. what I'm saying? So I'm going to move that the way I, I think I should move. Right. right. These people over here, right here, I'm going forward with. I'm starting a new move. You know what I'm saying? We're we going to go in this direction. Anybody in this box will feel a certain way about me. It don't really matter to me because I'm with the people in this box going this direction. I, I, I totally get it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's real life shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you know, the type of person I am is like, if you ain't fucking with me, you just ain't fucking with me. Facts. Whatever the reason may be, bro. Like, we don't even have to, you know, I, my life goes on. Like, uh, you know, like I said, I'm still got to do what I got to do, whether we partners or we not partners. I still got to provide for my family. I still got to make a way. So whether you get it or don't get it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just get past it, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I, I know why I do did the letter and part one and part two, the whole nine, like to kind of let the world know his piece, like, you know what I'm saying? Because you still, you know, you don't want to be one-sided to where this person said what he said and then y'all riding with that and I never got to speak my piece on really where I was at with it, you know what I'm saying? Then, so that's why we created that platform for, for a nigga to be able to speak that out. And man. that's crazy because a, 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 a whole nother podcast which is Spitter. That happened in God Podcast, what you're saying. And then a whole nother podcast when we was talking about Spitter with the with the paper plane shit and the jet life shit. And he like, man, 
I'm really supposed to be compensated on some shit. Some niggas really, really took my shit and twisted and revamped it and shit. But when a nigga so high up here and you the little nigga down here, it come off like hate. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Do. Yeah. And and that's why a nigga wanted to give this side of the story. Yeah, you know, like from you know, because he didn't want you to be looked at as. He didn't want to be looked at as like I'm hating on you. Right, I'm mad right. with you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just letting you know I'm not mad, bro. I'm more hurt that we couldn't resolve this by having a conversation and talking and you really getting my side and I get your side. And, you know, we, we didn't even have to bring it to social media. It could have just been understood, like, from a conversation between me and you that I ain't like how you did this. This why I did this. I hear you on that, but I don't feel that. And. Let let it be alone, you know, left it alone from that point. We didn't have to bring it to social media to even, you know, get all these people involved. Because once all those people get involved, it'd be kind of harder to come back together because now you got so many people in it that you care about, uh, they, that you worry about their opinion about something. So it makes it a little harder for you to close that gap right now because so many people in the middle of that gap that saying, no, you should, man, fuck that nigga, boo, 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 boo. You know what I'm saying? The whole nine, you know what I'm saying? So it just make it more complicated, you know. I think those brothers could have been past that situation if they would have had a, a proper conversation and Got some understanding, and even if the understanding led to what you know, it's good. That's where you was at with it. I ain't really feeling. No, nah, no, nah, that's real. You kept it moving. That, that, that's real. That you say that because the, the 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 most shit similar shit to go with that. It's like, bro, when you call yourself brothers, when you because it's like you were saying, like I seen the emotions, I seen the realness, and dude explaining his you know his situation and his side and all this he was going through with his girl and his heart felt all the shit that you just said. And sometimes, bro, because this shit just happened right when you walked in here. Like, nigga, from 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 my crib to get here, it's like 35, 40 minutes a day. And in the midst of that, I was on the phone with my brother. And we slick side got into it. You, you see what I'm saying? But once a nigga pulled up here, when you came... We didn't even talk about that. It seemed right, like, right, right, you yeah. know, like, that shit just went away. I'm talking about niggas like, man, you acting like a fucking woman, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, this and that there. I'm talking about, like, he did on that type of that's, time. That's but was that was 30 it. minutes, I, 20 I wouldn't minutes. Even, I wouldn't even seen that. Right. It, it didn't even come across that y'all even had a difference. It's like your brother pull up on you to holler at you, he ain't see you. Right. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Right. So, I ain't even picked that up. I'm saying that because that's how niggas be feeling when they be calling themselves brothers. That's how niggas be looking like, man, no matter what a nigga going through, eventually it'll change. That's what, because we brothers. That, this shit gonna happen. Like, I'm right. telling you about my real brother that just happened. But, when that situation happened and the nigga's don't a nigga don't talk like that situation like that situation happened with me and my brother and then a nigga just don't talk from that point on. Right. You see what I'm saying? It bothers you because we have the relationship to well that shit happened all the time and we talk right back we in the next five, old, ten yeah, minutes. We get past but it. When we don't get past it and we just leave it like that Nigga feel away, man. Just because, like, damn, my like, bitch, we did get into the. We done went, went through too much, bro. My like, brother, bro. We done went through too much to build something, you know what I'm saying, for the inner way. So ended. I think his side came from that standpoint. The shit I just. Yeah, expect. real talk. That's, I fuck. Like, listen, I could see that dude love dude. And I'm quite sure BG got some love for him, bro. Like deep down inside, nah, like, real you know shit, saying? man. Just like anybody else that he have differences with. There's a thin line between love and hate. You know what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying. There's some love on the side of whatever people might feel like what he don't like about the person. You know what I'm saying? There's still a side of love. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, it mainly get resolved through a good conversation of like. You know, this is where I was at, bro. You know what I'm saying? Or, and, and apologies and my bad for not doing it. You know, like like sincere shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? But it come to a conversation when you got middlemen and people speaking for niggas. Shit always get misconstrued and thrown off to the left way. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You and your brother ain't got no mediator between y'all. Y'all was able to talk that shit out right here and... It, it was nothing. Yeah, the mediator start beefing. Yeah, the mediator. <laughs> he gonna tell you. He gonna put his twist on everything he say, man. You know, but really though, he can't on, really talk right now. On, on the real side of it, you know, I do agree with you. Yeah, and all that dumb shit. And that 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 make it like you feel right. You feel justified within yourself because usually when the dude talking to you, he he's telling you, I feel what you're saying. 
I feel what you're saying, bro. I'm more, you know, and and once he started agreeing with you to some degree, like you let it all out to the nigga. It's right. <laughs> yeah. I'm right for what I stand for. I'm right standing here. on business. Yeah, I'm standing on business, and that's you know, so that that always lead to it being drawn dragged out. You know, longer than it should be. But if y'all was to have that conversation amongst yourselves, you know, you'll get a better understanding of, you know, what that is. And I think that's what God was about. Like, man, I won't come on a podcast. I think y'all got the impact, you know what I'm saying? You know, especially in this city and surrounding areas, you know what I'm saying? To where, you know, the word should get out to be like, this, I still fuck with dude. I love dude. I fuck with everybody else. I want them to know too, but I want the city to know. <laughs> I mean, because it's where I live at. This is where I gotta drive around every day, and I can't just let your narrative be the only narrative in the world, like out there. I can't just let how you look at it make play, you know, paint the picture of me the way you want me to be, and then everybody just see me that way. No, I gotta speak on yeah. it from a perspective to show you, like, nah, this is what I was going through, this is what I was dealing with, and this is who I am. Big five. And, and now, if that, you make your judgment. Big five. You know, so, so it been, it been, I be, you know, I, I been more loved than, than anything from what go. I heard BBC going on, on uh, tour in the first stop is the uh, Lakefront Arena. I hope him and God get to talk, bro. I hope they can line it up, like you know what I'm saying, and it lead to some 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 good shit. Just at least like respect. It don't have to lead to no business. Or shout out the minutes. He say minutes are putting that together. Right, well, that's, Need BG on the podcast minutes, bro. Yeah, do that, do that, do that, do that. You call minutes, bro. BG, I'm gonna call minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna call him right minutes. now. I'm fucking with you. I call him right now. I'm fucking with you. If he answers, you know what I'm saying. Niggas don't be answering. Bro. Niggas don't be answering. Yeah, they don't always answer. You know, like I said, niggas got lives. Like you know, they got shit that they're doing. But you know, he'll get back with me. I ain't got no. no what's difference. the what's what? Is a time frame of reaching out to a nigga and you ain't answering, you ain't calling him back before a nigga like, man, fuck this nigga. I know what it is. I caught the drift. I mean, um, it depends on the person and, 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 and what the person got going on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because if a person is a busy person that handles a lot of Four business. Four months? I mean, sometimes you get, you get, uh, you guys caught in a shuffle. You listen, no, more, no you nigga. got, listen, sometimes you get caught in a shuffle, bro. It wasn't nothing. I got day one partners that don't call me. I missed a call. But in the mix of me talking to other niggas and doing other shit, I really forgot that I didn't call my dude back. In but, four months? No, it ain't about. I, it, it ain't four months. But I, like that, that person will call me back and be like, "Bitch, I called you," and, and you will get that understood. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying it could be four months if I never even remember that I was supposed to call you back. It could probably lead to four months. It might be lead to the month where I'm just like, "Let me call my dude, man." Like you know, I got free time. Ain't nothing going on too much. He come across my mind. I call him. You know, just to check on him. And you and your feelings about been called I called you, you four man. months ago. Man, you ain't call me. Let yeah. me check. You know, so dead, you, you text know, me. Shit like that be so happening. Dead. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, depending on how busy your life is, niggas can get caught up in the shuffle of some other shit I got going on and I forgot to call you. Not that I forgot who you are. I get caught in the shuffle. Is. I don't be out the shuffle. I mean, I don't catch I don't catch feelings that heavy. You know, you got to show me maybe more than once that that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Because I give you the grace period of like, Shit going on. The next time, oh man, I just seen that. Bitch. No, you can't give me a run around. <laughs> can't give me a run around. Like you know, a run around is like I catch that. I, I pick that drift up. Like Fast. that's a run around. Like you playing with me now. <laughs> not that's. I'm not meaning it from that perspective. I'm meaning like he didn't call me back and I called him. You know what I'm saying? And it, it took a long time to call. And then I tell a nigga I call and nigga be like, oh bitch, I was had shit going on. I forgot. Especially if I knew it ain't no problem with me and you. You know what I'm saying though? I don't. I don't I don't really ride with it like that. You know, the younger me probably would have been, bitch, you know, this bitch acting funny and, you know, just went left with it out the gate yeah. off the first you thing. You got five, know? ten minutes time to call a nigga Yeah, back. call me back. <laughs> bitch, you do me that no, right now, no. bitch. <laughs> then you play the games with me. No, well, I call him. I call you back. You I ain't going to answer because he ain't answer. You got to call the shuffle. Oh, man. You got to call the shuffle. You make a shuffle. <laughs> I ain't get caught in the shuffle. Stop you the created a, suf- a shuffle for me, nigga. Like, come on, man. Like, come on. It's a difference. <laughs> you can't create a shuffle and then say you got caught in it. That would even holler about. <laughs> <laughs> this is no real campfire game. Keep getting that real shit, better shit, man. Real nigga, better shit. I go by gas to hate him. I'm Mr. Mina, the instigator, bro. You already know what to watch. Watch this, don't watch that other shit. Yeah. Now, Boom. Y'all not coward. Y'all being real about what y'all doing, so. <laughs>